uh, today we're going to change 9720 charging pin the first step is obviously you need to uh, unscrew it it takes about one two three four five six seven eight eight screws keep a magnet to just put the screws safely and then open it just be careful if the charging pin is still intact sometimes it can rip off the tracks but here we are not worried about that they're already the tracks are gone there's no track left there so we have to rebuild the track in the market uh, the charging pin that we get uh, nowadays it's not it's the original one that they tell you it doesn't fit proper so I'm going to use 9320 charging pin it's almost similar like that you just have to be sure that the charger is not other way around so 9320 charging pin you will we can put in 9720 as well just we have to do a little bit of alteration in the soldering area uh, disconnect the board from LCD and touch and you can put it away as well because this LCD is very sensitive Sometimes you're working and if it fell down or whatever, you can break it. So now, first of all, we have to do a little bit of alteration that I said to you about. That would be making these holes where the charging pin is connecting. Mostly people change it and then uh, change the charging pin and then comes back in a couple of days or two, three days. Reason is that it's not soldering to the board nicely. So usually what I do, I make holes, so I can put some extra solder. We're not going to make holes onto the onto the uh, uh, back of the charging pin where these two are going. We're going to solder that onto the board so we have to like scrub it off to get the surface. So once the holes are done nicely, make sure it's, it goes through the board. As you can see. If the image is blurred, please forgive me. I'm trying as much as to show it to you. Now the holes are done. Once the holes are holes are done already, you can see that the front or front legs or connector or whatever you call it goes in nicely into the holes. There we go. Now we have to scrub the area where we're going to solder it. The, uh, the other two legs of it to the board these two legs we're going to scrub the board and straighten them up with a uh, nose plus or, or a cutter after scrubbing it this is how it should look the front legs they fit in nicely and the back legs you have to solder it direct to the board now I'm going to solder the legs and then I'm going to make the tracks as you see these four uh, dots or golden dots one two three four this is what is going to go through the charging pin the first one is negative or neutral the second leg is dead we don't touch that the second hole we put it to the third leg and the third hole we put to the fourth leg and this is a positive that's the fifth leg so thereafter you can even if you need to flash the phone it will still flash you can connect these two but then it will give you the message that USB connected is not charging well so rather make all the tracks again if we start from right the first one is positive the second one goes to the second one third one goes to the third one fourth one we forget about it we don't need to connect the fourth leg to the board we can just leave it like that and the last one is 
न्यूट्रल वट आई नॉर्मली डू आई पुश इन द शोल्डर इन टू दीज होल्स सो वेन आई हीट अप दीज लेग्स द गो इन द स्टिक इन देयर नाइसली बोल्टेड इट्स नॉट ओनली सोल्डेड आई वुड कॉल इट बोल्टेड दैन इट होल्ड इट प्रॉपरली एंड कस्टमर यूजली डज नॉट कम बैक टू मी वंस आई डू दिस आई हैव डन हंड्रेड्स ऑफ दैम यू कैन से दैट एंड यूजली इफ ए कस्टमर कम मे बी वन और टू आउट ऑफ टेन कम्स बैक एंड दैट्स बिकॉज ऑफ देयर नेग्लिजेंस दे पुश इट टू मच सो वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सोल्डरिंग नाउ as you can see now i'm going to push the shoulder into this hole take your time be patient everything can be fixed you will be wondering why didn't i just leave it like that and the reason behind that is that i've tried so many different pins and different methods and this is by far the best that i've seen that doesn't come out don't even bother spending your money on to the charging pin that they tell you that it is for 9720 it usually doesn't even work last you for a few hours uh 9321 I've changed few and customer doesn't come back. Not few, a lot of them. Now you have to put the charging pin on top. My way of doing is very simple. any other guy can do it i don't wear gloves protections this and that now if you see if i heat it a bit it should pierce through this uh, hole if you do that nicely there we go gone in then i can guarantee you that you don't have to do it again and again over a first time you'll get the success and do the other leg now as you can see these both are gone in nicely fitting properly now we going to solder the remaining two the back one as you can see i have soldered it on to the both point four all four points now if i'm putting the force against it i'm using quite a lot of force and it doesn't shake or doesn't hold now we can start bridging them again we'll start from the right the first one goes to the first ball the second one goes to the second ball the third one goes to the third ball fourth one we are not touching it it's a dead track and the last one is your negative you can either connect it same place or you can connect it to this uh, fourth ball i use uh, normally you can get all sort of uh, cables and wires and stuff Uh, take your an old Nokia 5110 charger break it into pieces and take out this coil this one is the best and thinnest one that i can use you know use a little bit of paste on to the board and not that much just a little take one of the wires put solder to the one end again as i said the first leg is positive the solder and to make tracks i use a thinner soldering iron than the one that i use normally just refresh the tip so it can hold the solder 
No. There it is. It goes to the first leg. That's positive. It's a delicate job to do. Just want to make sure that it's connecting to the right place. For this, on the board, I use a different soldering iron. It makes it quick. One gone, three left. Now we're gonna put the second one. Just put the solder onto the tip of the wire. Second one connected, but we have to see that if it is not shorting to the first one. It's, it was going to short it, so I just removed it. Let me make the pen plane again. Second one gone, two to go. Now we're going to put the third one. Same procedure again. Put a little bit of solder on the tip of the wire. We start from the right. That's the third one. Sorry about the camera movement. Just need to make sure that they don't touch each other, you know. If they do, you have to clean it again. Sorry about the interruption. There was a customer there. Okay, so now we're going to put the third one. Sometimes it become a very irritating job. Connecting it, it disconnects. You connecting it, it disconnects. Well, have to be patient. Eventually it comes alright. Like this third one. Now we want to go, or either we can just directly sold it to the board that. Uh, neutral or negative one they look separate all of them the last one left now we do the same thing the last time solder the tip of the wire and then this is the last one that's a neutral track again the fourth leg we don't worry about it we just leave it like that that's a dead track
have to be a bit patient sometime. I told you that it's keep coming off. Last one connected, not short to anything. I don't like to hide things, but the interruptions, if you see in the video, it's only because while I'm doing the repair, I'm sitting on my shop and today I'm alone. And to this track, when you try to connect it to this pole, sometimes it becomes very stubborn, it doesn't want to hold. I don't know what is the reason. But it doesn't want to sold. So just a little bit patient. One thing I can tell you, this is not a job that you would want to do in haste. Uh, take your time. And it should turn out the right way. As you see, I don't know if it can focus there. They they are, are connected always one two three four. The fourth one you don't bother. What's now we're going to test it. Sorry about the interruption again. Another customer came. Now we're going to check it without closing it. And that is just to connect it to the charger and see that if the red light switch is on, which is on. Now I'm going to close it because it's not the right side. Uh, charging pin so we'll cut this we don't want to push it in too much to break the screen so we cut these two sides and it will fit nicely let's charging there in the corner if you see that bald sign please be patient and if you like the video please uh, subscribe to me hopefully it will help you to repair 9720 charging pin problem thank you very much just remember to cut off that extra piece Bye.